Hey guys, welcome to week 11 of The Buying Club. So disclaimer, don't be upset if something I mentioned doesn't end up in the box. And with that, first item in the box is going to be a very adorable and terribly fun personal size watermelon. These are fantastic. They are seedless, which is everyone's favorite. And they have great flavor. And you know, it's not one of those watermelons that are just gonna linger. Like sometimes you get the gigantic watermelon and you're like, eh. On day five, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do it anymore. So um, these are perfect, these are great. These are also great for me. They fit beautifully in the boxes and they're so light and fantastic. I can just bound upstairs in office buildings with these things, it's great. So on the exact opposite side of that, but still on the watermelon front is, lift with your legs, always, here we go, is a gigantic, massive does not even fit in the screen huge have to carry it on your shoulder moon and stars heirloom watermelon Whew. so these are not going to be in your box however they will be up for individual purchase because i'm not going to carry however many of these up and down stairs and through parking lots good night and god bless america i was exhausted picking them so i'm not going to carry them <laughs> that distance for everyone uh, but yeah, they'll be under the fruit tab if you want to try one. So since they're heirloom, they are seeded. And then I'm going to set this down. And I also grew the yellow variety and the red variety. And to my knowledge, there's no real way to tell which is which at this point. I kind of know at which end of the fields they were, but you know, you have vines crossing. So I can make no promises. So it'll just be a fun surprise. And in the field today, I was trying to carry three of them at a time. Not the smartest, I know, but I thought I could make it work. <laughs> and I dropped one and it broke. And at first I was like, what a waste. And then I thought, don't tempt me with a good time. So then I ate it and you know, went in room. It was, it was there, it was broken. What else could you do? And it was delicious. It was one of the yellow ones. So have fun with them. They're incredible, and if you're super crafty, save the seeds, and next year grow your own Moon and Stars watermelon. They can grow up to 40 pounds. I don't think, I did sell a really big one on Saturday. I don't think it was 40 pounds. I didn't weigh it, but they are a good size watermelon. This will be a watermelon that you will have for some time. Invite your friends and family. So, moving on. <laughs> in the box will also be eggplant. So we've been off of eggplant for a while. So another thing to keep in mind for eggplant, it's pretty pliable, so if you cut it this way and you roast it, you can take it out of the oven and sort of make it into like a taco and hold it closed with a toothpick, put cheese on the inside, put some meat and cheese, sort of stuff it, make some sort of something fancy. And then one of my customers is telling me how she actually, rather than slicing, she chops it and does layered the sauce, the eggplant, the cheese without doing all the breading. So some people aren't into breading. I mean, you know, it's a lot of work, breading, frying, grease everywhere. Eh. I like her idea. So just a thought for you guys. Also, we're getting some really nice color on the peppers now. So peppers will be in the box. I can't promise that all of you are going to get red peppers. The coal rate on red peppers in the field is very high. It's just the nature of the red pepper. However, I'll try and get you all some colored peppers. So bell peppers. Last week you guys got red tomatoes. This week we'll be back on heirloom tomatoes. This variety is called Amana Orange. It is one of my new favorites. The first year that I grew it, I just love it. I love the color. It's kind of like a creamsicle color, creamsicle orange. And all the tomatoes on the plant are gorgeous. Sold. Be growing it forever now. Husk cherries are back. So if you remember, you just open them like that. And then one thing I didn't mention last time, it's kind of fun. So in French, uh, I don't know the exact words, but the translation in English for these would be caged love, which I think is super fun for these since they're so delicate and cute. So these, you are also going to get potatoes and squash. We have patty pan squash now and the regular green zucchini. And with that, I believe I've covered everything. So have a great week and I'll have a video for you guys next week. Thanks so much.